They are up against each other for the past couple of seasons in the UAAP, but of course this is not the UAAP, but here they will have this encounter much awaited for today. Of course, we're talking about the University of the Philippines at, of course, itong Ateneo Blue Eagles. Welcome, welcome everybody. Dito po tayo sa Phil Oil Echo Oil Center in San Juan, Benji Santiago, Charles Beitiong, and alam ko ikaw mismo, personally, excited ka rin sa oh, ballgame oh. na to. Kasi yung Ateneo, the last season, hindi sila kasali. For some reason, hindi sila kasali dito sa Phil Oil. Ito namang UP, two, uh, two game losing streak so, let's see kung uh, paano babawe yung uh, dalawang teams dito sa laban na to. Well, of course, everybody's excited. And uh, so, we're going to be taking a look at our team standings right now. Dalawang magkasunod na talo para rito sa UP Fighting Maroons. And uh, let's see how they try to bounce back right now. Ano? They're 3 and 2 sa kanilang kartada and our team standings sa Group B. Yan yung titingnan ninyo. Ha? 3 and 2 sila. At uh, ito naman panig ng uh, Ateneo Blue Eagles will be playing their first game. Only their first game dito sa ating Phil Oil Echo Oil Preseason Cup. And a lot is expected. Alam ko nga, galing pa sa ibang bansa para ito ang Ateneo. And uh, right now, they're here to uh, showcase what they have learned continuously, how their basketball program have been continuously also developed and progressed. And uh, this is sure one exciting basketball action na makikita natin dito. They have Fortsky, Padrigal, Mason Amos, and of course a lot of those other guys, mga reliables for uh, Coach Tab. And uh, tingnan natin, dahil itong a baptism of fire for them as they go up against itong University of the Philippines. Uh, and Ito nga yung binabanggit ko. Yung dalawang talo na yon most probably, because they're, in their previous game, they lost to La Salle. They led by as much as 16 in the first half. Pero nabawian sila in the second half. And uh, we'll see how they fare. At uh, alam ko mismo, ang UP also excited to see an old rival mm. foe, uh -huh. in a way, if they would consider it that way. Some fighting maroons will have their hands full. Trying to bounce back into a win. Dito sa ating 16th Phil Oil Echo Oil Preseason Cup. So stand by lang po kayo. At eto na, punta na tayo sa ating venue announcer for the introduction ng ating uh, dalawang teams coming into this ball game. Number 22, Kyle Ong, and number 77, Ian Espinosa. 
Head coach is Scott Baldwin. And coaching for today's game is assistant coach John Hastito. And now let's meet all the players for the UP Fighting Balloon. Number two, Raylan Torres. Number seven, Stephen Gagate. Number 10, Malik Diu. Number 11, Terence Portilla. Number nine, John Antonesita. Number 12, J.D. Capulana. Number 13, Mark Belmonte. Number 15, Silent Gonzalez. Number 17, Francis Lopez. Number 18, Harold Alago. Number 19, Jerry Amachado. Number 20, L.A. Andres. Number 23, Ashton Andrews. Number 24, Aldo Toklas. Number 27, C.J. Gancino. Number 31, Luis Pablo. And number 77, Chico Briones. Head coach is Goldwyn Monteverde. All players, please proceed to the second court for the traditional sportsmanship handshake. And of course, we all at all sports would like to greet Seven Tagate a happy birthday today. Happy birthday, Seven Tagate. And now let's meet the starters for the Ateneo Blue Eagles. Small forward number seven, Jason Toledo. Power forward number one, Kai Balunai. Center number 25, Joseph Obasa. Point guard number 13, Gab Gomez. And shooting guard number 24, Sean Kintemis. Starters for the UP Fighting Maroons. Small forward number 27, CJ. Power forward, number 21, Luis Pablo. Center, number 10, Malik Dio. Point guard, number 12, J.D. Kapulana. Shooting guard, number 18, Harold Alarco. Our referees for this main game are Gucci Glenn Colmelio. First on fire, Toys There you can see J.D. Kapulangan is back for the UP Fighting Maroons. He got injured the first time they, they saw action here, para sa ating preseason cup. But it's nice to find out that he's gonna be playing again for Coach Goldwyn. And uh, of course to see Jake Ancino making a comeback. And uh, Malik Diouf, Cap Gomez, Rhea Theater side, Najin Densi Credo, Tevis Obasa, and Kai Balungay for Atenea. So how do you like this? We're just about to start this basketball action. Hindi pa nag-umpising UAAP. Some of the comments that we have been getting. Preview na raw ito ng final. Sobra naman kayo. Ang haba pa nun. Kasi 1-1 yan eh. The last two finals ng UAAP. 1-1 sila. Bigid lang ha. Para dito sa preseason cup. Nakita nyo na ba yung Lasal? Wala pang talo. Anim na sunod na yun. Oo. Oo. Those are kind of things that we have to uh, really just see, you know. Sabi nga, all part of the prep para sa kanilang mga regular leagues na sasalihan. Of course, a lot of you are familiar with. And here we go. It's UP getting the first possession in this ball game. And there's a tap out. CJ Cancino was trying to attack. Early, yeah. Very well, early on uh, drive ni CJ Cancino doon. Well, I do believe they're also excited to see Ateneo at the other side of the floor again. Mm -hmm. Itong UP. That inbound. And Harold Alarcon. Underneath the reverse. They got it back, UP. Malik Diof. JD Kagulangan. Shot clock down to two. Malik Diof. Banks it in for the first basket in this ball game. Early two-man game right there for UP. And shot clock was winding down, but just enough time for them to score the first two points. Let's take a look at, I think, J.D. Kagulangan is going to be called for a foul. Here's how they did it. Very, very patient offense. And finally, they went to a two-man play. Nabinabanggit mo Charles. Pero paubos kasi, kailangan na itira. At least they converted it. Nice banking shot right now. Ateneo. Give a first crack at the basket here for the first ball game. Throws high up the pass and they lost possession. Here comes UP. Clogging the uh, 
shaded area in that offense of Ateneo earlier. There's another attack. The banking shot won't go. Ball goes out. And it will stay with UP. You know CJ can see you know. He will not shy away from those opportunities, Bench. To told him again. I mean, his name has been called out. Oh. May he yawan nakagad, you know. Malik D off. Trying to make it four to. Nope, he gets it back. Now he's got four points. Wow. The resiliency on this guy, Malik D. You've kilala natin yan. Na talagang every opportunity to get a rebound. He's playing his role to the hilt, the center for the Fighting Maroons. The handoff inside, quick hands on the part of UP. No decent shot being given. Ateneo, oh, that's going to be a basket that will count here. A late contest right there for Obasa. Harold Alarcon right there. Nice move. Ateneo. Down six to nothing. One and done. Here comes UP. Malik Dio finishing it with a dunk. And that's going to be an early timeout that's going to be called here by Ateneo Blue Eagles. Off to a quick start. They want to get a taste of a win again. They're off to a good start. They're showing a lot of their preparations, their game plan, execution. And now they're up eight to nothing going into this timeout. Back in the first quarter of this game, our score is 8 to none in favor of the UP Fighting Maroons. This could be the beginning of something for the Ateneo Blue Eagles who will be having their debut game this afternoon. Unlike the UP Fighting Maroons who have revealed their deck already, cards are not yet shown on the white shirts. Secrecy will keep us curious on how these teams have been trying to build the best system for them. According to student manager coach Rafael de Guzman, as much as they want to keep up with the Battle of Katipunan, they are all focused on gameplays and incorporating their individual skills and progression. Recognizing the eagerness of UP to end their back-to-back -back losses, he said that they will be sticking to their values and principles in this game. Back to you, Benji and Charles. All right. Ulit ulit na nababanggit yung Battle of Katipunan, but the battleground here is in San Juan oh, oh. for now. <laughs> Atenea called an early timeout. They okay, can't seem to get a basket. And let's see the adjustment that they have made. It's going to be actually John Jacinto who will be coaching Ateneo in their first game here for this preseason cup. UP after a timeout. Wala pa rin sa Ateneo. Let's see. In this try right now. Oh, finally a basket oh, here. Balungai opens it up for the Blue Eagles in this game. Jason Credo, a football quarterback pass right there to Kai Balungai for the easy layup. Luis Pablo. Floater is off and wild. Ateneo coming down with the rebound, trying to quicken the pace. Look at this cross court pass. Napakailaman to CJ Cancino. And Harold Alarcon with a couple of baskets here in the first period for the Fighting Maroons. UP Fighting Maroons bench looking to start very strong here and early in this ballgame. Floater off. Wala pang sagot sa kanila yung Ateneo. Sunod-sunod na baskets na. Take a look at this play for the UP Fighting Maroons. They came in prepared. And of course, they're playing JD Kagulangan. He'll be uh, back on the bench for a little while. Just take a breather. Siguro parang sasakyan to na bagong overhaul. Kaya uh -huh. kailangan i-break in mo muna. It's John John Felicilda in his place right now to do the... Uh, 
Operation of offense here for UP. Grab it. And then oh. Harold Alarcon with some hot hands here in the first period. Hand down, man down for Harold Alarcon. Pag nakababa yung kamay mo, you will suffer for sure. Stepping out of bounds. Yeah, I saw that too. It will be Ateneo basketball. Francis Lopez will check into the ball game. How about Harold Alarcon? What can you say about that? All wired up for this ball game. Sana nakatulog ng maayos. For Ito sure. Sobrang excited <laughs> eh. Diba? Corner miss by Ateneo. And UP once again. Up double digits. He got blobbered right there. Uh-oh. So they control. They're going to try again. Only two points so far for Ateneo here. Whistle. Is that going to count? Yes, it will. Yes, given continuation for Credo. Jason Credo absorbing the contact of CJ Cancino to get the basket and the foul. Jared Brown, Joseph Masterful, and Shu checking in for the Blue Eagles. Sweet Row, Jason Credo. You can see, Benj, no, the depth ng lineup nitong uh, dalawang teams natin. Kahit yung second five na, quality pa din. <laughs> And yes, dito po kami sa San Juan. Kung nasaan man kayo, wala, hanggang tingin na lang kayo. <laughs> <laughs> John John Felicilda with a basketball. Francis Lopez came into the ball game. And how about this? He was left wide open right there. You can't leave CJ Cancino open. Shots. Second three-pointer for UP here in the first 10 minutes of action. Extends their lead right now to this much. 16-5 advantage for the Fighting Maroons. And traveling. Ateneo can't seem to get going. Ano nangyari rito? Kinalawang ba itong uh, Ateneo? As we take a look at that basket. Late Four. challenge right there on the three-pointer. Here's Terence Fortea, another good shooter here para sa UP. So take a look at Francis Lopez going. John John Felicilda is in the paint. Everybody touching that basketball. How about this quick stop oh, at the banking Ray shot? Torres. Ray Lam Torres. Kisses it off the glass for that two-pointer. Look at this, John John Felicilda breaking up the play there. He almost got a steal. Oh, look now, this is the largest lead in the first quarter. It's up 13 for the Fighting Maroons. Malik Diouf, actually, mas marami pa yung score niya kaysa sa Ateneo. <laughs> he, he's already had six. Another unproductive offense for Ateneo, and here comes UP. Diouf. Yan lang, naunay hakbang sa dribble. Got a little too eager right there to attack the basket. Atene is getting pretty good looks. Ito sa laro na to. Yun nga lang, hindi nila na-shoot. Hindi nila na-co-convert. So that's something that they really need to work on in order to you know, be, still be in this ballgame. There's Jared Brown. And a steal by UP. Hand off John John Felicilda with a finish. UP, alam naman natin, they love to run. And tong uh, combo guards nila, kayang-kayang gumawa ng mga, kayang-kaya nila mag-set para dito sa mga kampi nila. 
Shot clock down is seven for Atenea Brown. From the outside, they a much needed basket. Finally, the first three pointer for Ateneo, courtesy of Brown. 28 dozen point lead. They're ahead. UP, Felicito with a bad pass. And this is going to be an easy finish here. Josh Lazaro reading, anticipate, good job on anticipation right on that pass. Diop, is he thinking about it? He's going for it, the three. Long and strong, they got another possession here. Raylan Torres, back to Malik Diop. Be in your comfort zone. <laughs> Shooting three points. But he's still shooting. I know, the I know. Last year, AP, he also can hit a couple of threes in a game. I guess you could say they're just uh, oozing with a lot of adrenaline right now. Oh. I know they've waited for this matchup for a long while. Oh. This uh, Ateneo, the champion in the previous season. Kasi naglalaban sila sa UAAP lang talaga palagi eh. Kaya nga. Eh hindi nga kasali itong Ateneo on the last uh, season itong uh, Phil Oil. Two for two for Malik Diaz. So the birthday boy, Seven Gagate. So eight na siya ngayon dahil eight nag-birthday na siya. <laughs> Happy birthday, Seven Gagate. 22-10 para sa UP. 2 minutes and 44 here in the first. Jared Brown. Hindi niya mapagpag ito si John Felicilda. Very active kasi itong uh, de defender na to. And Jared Felicilda. John John Felicilda. Francis Lopez. Terence Fotea missing that jumper and open look, but they got the ball back. Raylan Torres with it offensive rebound. Lopez. Corner three. Terence Fotea makes it. You don't give him two chances. Oh. An open look. Lead is 15. Taking a foul warning pa against Jared Brown. Oh, how nice. about that? In and out. They try again. Inside. The defense is there. Ball will stay with Ateneo. No easy and baskets as much as possible. But look at this. Terrence Fortea. He tried earlier. He missed. He's going to try again. He's not gone shy at all. Lead is 15 for UP. Catch and shoot three. Hits the side of the backboard for Way Ateneo. Whoa! John John Felicilda. Not really going for it. Stepping on the gas. Attacking. Jared Brown is fouled. Full speed ahead. We've oh, been seeing a lot of bodies on the floor early in, the, early in this ball game bench. Talagang... Ang physical na itong laro na to for these two teams. Ito kasi the first quarter pa lang tayo, imagine. That's just pride <laughs> kicking in for these two teams. Yan, isa yan, isa yan. Kahit pa preseason league to, hindi mo pa rin ibibigay yung panalo. Basta-basta. Yeah. Everybody putting a lot of interest in this ball game. And the seal that knocks down the second free throw. Let's see here, three man substitution for Ateneo. Ninety five seconds here in the first quarter. Fortsky Padrigal in the game, throws a long pass. The floater doesn't go. Francis Lopez taking care of the rebound. Happy birthday. Oh, Baltog yung tira. Happy birthday, boy. Well, he lost control on the way up for one thing. Baka napuyat. Kakabasa ng mga greetings sa kanya. Mayon, malamang. <laughs> Point blank miss right there for seven, Gagate.
107 to play here in the first quarter. Talens Forte uh, puts it up. Nope. It's a miss. And Fortsky bringing it down, setting up the play. The half court offense of Ateneo here. Going corner. Duano lost it. And here's John John Felicilda. A foul away foul, yeah. from the ball spotted here against Ateneo. Jason Amos will go back to the bench. Di ko mahal lang nga nabanggit yung pangalan. Oh, <laughs> Harang ambilis ah. And he didn't get too much touches. Kaya nga eh. Yeah. And so Basa was back in the game here para sa Ateneo. Oops! Nawala yung bola kaya uh, John John Felicilda. Active hands right there for oh. UP. Oh, it's Raylan Torres who lost the basketball. Sorry. My bad. Fortsky trying to set up his teammates here. Attack baseline. Fortsky lets it fly. Nope. Kind of a tight start here for Ateneo. Oh. How about this runner? Just didn't go in for uh, John feet. John. And that will be it for the first 10 minutes of action. Well, this is the first game of Ateneo. They're trying to get the feel. Of everything that's happening here for the Phil Oil Echo Oil preseason, UP getting used to it, and they got two losses. They got to make up for it, and Ateneo could be a big fish that they could handle here. But so far, ten minutes just over. We still got three quarters in this ball game, and you're still watching the 16 Phil Oil Echo Oil preseason cup with UP a big lead against Ateneo. Well, we also feel good about uh, bringing to you this ball game here at Villa Oil Echo Oil Center in San Juan. Again, UP off to a real hot start. They really mean business. It's unusual, you know, that the Ateneo team to be trailing up by 16 points against the UP Fighting Maroons. This is something that they need to work on, Bench. Uh, 4 out of 16, a very low field goal percentage para sa kanila. Only 25% against a 10 out of 22, 45% field goal ng UP Maroons. And that's what I have been wondering. Is it rust or too much rust <laughs> for Ateneo? There you can see, still a big lead here. Up 15. The UP Fighting Maroons. Francis Lopez on his way to the basket. Oh, wow. Big, big challenge right there. 
by Joseph Obasa. Was he trying to posterize Obasa? Well, we'll never know. It did not <laughs> happen. <laughs> but he, for sure, he had bad intentions right there. Line to shoot here for UP, Raylan Torres. Down to four, the shot clock. Somebody has to put it up. They weren't aware of the shot clock. And Ateneo has got the basketball. Let the game continue. Portsky from the outside. His second try from long distance. Still nothing. Underneath, still nothing also Parang for Ateneo. Parang may takip yung ring ng Ateneo. <laughs> Terrence Fontea lots it fall. Second three-pointer for Fontea. Quick hands to the part of the Fighting Birds here. Francis Lopez. We know what he's going to do with that basketball. To finish That's the fast a break. Bad, bad man, Francis Lopez. What an amazing display of athleticism right here. Look at this. They had the numbers. And of course, they have been a lot of time. It's Francis Lopez with that dunk, and we go into a timeout. Back at the second quarter of this game, our score is 31 to 11 in favor of the UP Fighting Maroons. The steady performance of Malik Diouf has been providing enough advantage and confidence for the Black Shirts. Averaging 14 points and 9 rebounds per game, he shared with me how criticisms molded him to strive harder, especially during trainings. He puts in the work and eventually it pays off during games. He says that the negative judgment and comments are one way of allowing him to become the main center of the team. In the first quarter, Malik had immediately added eight points on the scoreboard. More of him here in the second quarter of the game. Benji and Charles. You take everything that's been said about you, especially you won't like it, but you have to make it a challenge for yourself. You have to earn your uh, compliments. And thank you very much for watching. And we know that uh, wow, well, more than 3,000 are actually watching our stream. Ayan. Yung aking kumpare nga na si Raymond Liboro, ha? Yung kanyang uh, data uh, and privacy and security by design. Former uh, head of the National Privacy Commission watching UP alumnus. Very interested to see this ball game. Long time no see. 31 13. And a miss by uh, Jerry Abadiano on that jumper. An open look. Did we really expect this, Charles? Na ganito kaagad, alagwa ang UP. Hindi, we were, we were expecting a very tight matchup. And, you know, the game will go down to the wire. Pero, it happened otherwise. Okay, thank you, Julius K. Malmasan. Sino pa ba rito? Jort Nagami, Chris Zaira, Nawanao, Mersk, Loretta Casulta, MM4 Nun. Eh, sila Granger Fuentes. Hindi ko na babasahin yung mga ibang comments ninyo, ha? <laughs> Para wala lang mapikon. <laughs> Kimberly Angelio. Man, okay. Thank you, thank you. Just keep them coming, okay? Bawi daw, sabi nila. 3.6K. Ang nanudood sa atin, ha? But that, oh, yeah, Tomas, 3.7. Na. <laughs> Kano kabilis. Another foul on Seven Gagate. Basketball fans, all eyes are uh, 
And here actually taking a closer and a very good look at this match between Ateneo and UP. 7-32 here in the second quarter. And from the looks of it, Coach Charles, paano babalik ang Ateneo dito? Well, most importantly, they have yung field goals nila kailangan mas mapataas nila yan. And they're getting good looks. Yun nga lang talaga hindi nila nakoconvert. So that's gonna be a problem kung uh, hindi pa rin nila makoconvert yun all throughout this game. Side three doesn't go. Jenny Abadiano touching it last. It stays another, with the Blue Eagles. Another thing is their defense. They, they can't give UP that good looks, that many good looks. Jason Credo has been sent back to the ball game. There was Mason Amos with the basketball earlier. Credo floats it up. Short gets it back underneath and banks it wow. in. Against two white shirts. Against two black shirts, I mean. 31-15. Seven minutes here in the second period. Jerry Abadiano. Sayang na pagkakataon. Uh, yeah. Napakagat niya doon si Obasa. Portsky setting it up. Mason Amos firing. Long distance. Wow. Rattles in. That three. Ito na yata ang, U ang Ateneo. Kumakatok na sa UP. And then may ago pa si Portsky. Touchdown here for Ateneo. Quick timeout for the UP Fighting Maroons. Back to back baskets. Just when I was asking you, Charles, how is Ateneo going to come back into this ball game? Let's start with this one a three pointer by Mason Amos and Fortsky Padriga with a steal and a completion of that fast break. And UP calls a timeout. They're up 11. And again, we're here at the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center in San Juan. Parang medyo uminit ng konti kasi oh. medyo maraming tao. <laughs> A quick 5-0 run by Ateneo. Kaya napatawag agad ng timeout si Coach Gold. Uh, UP still ahead by 11. Abadiano. A miss on that three by Harold Alarcon. Get a good first quarter. Game for him, Mason Amos, left open, no! Yeah. Joseph Obasa. The resiliency of that guy to box everybody out to get the offensive rebound and the basket. So stuck at 31, huh? Oh, the panic nine uh, point UP. Na lang. Luis Pablo, bang! That's a three-pointer. On the cue naman, bata. Just when we said the nine point lead na lang. 34 22. Well, Ateneo has come alive here in the second period. A miss on that three for Fortsky Padrigal. And here's UP. Lost it. Hustle play being displayed here by the Ateneo Blue Eagles. Oh. 
Seems like he hit a brick wall right there. Good guy. Well, no whistle there. Basically, they just turned it over. It He's Ante still Rio. down. This is what happens when all of a sudden you ran into a brick wall or something. <laughs> And Harold Alarcon, Alarcon is not small. He's a big guy. So. Italian, huh? You just have to stand your ground. Oh, JD kicks it out. Shot clock at five for UP. CJ with a miss. And somebody pushing out Malik Diof. It's going to be Jason Obasa. Oh, no, no, man. And Gio Chu checking in for Obasa, who just committed a foul earlier. UP basketball, a 12 point lead, and a quick play there. No, 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 no. It's Jared Brown. Ten second shot clock Di here. Dun. Outside shot doesn't go. JD throws the long pass. CJ can see the salvaging a situation. Almost a broken play right there. Presence of mind and the part of CJ Cancino to keep it going for UP. The pass was intended to Malik Diu, no? Pero napaganda pa. Oh, man. That's the luxury of having a Malik Diouf in your team. A guy who loves to run. That's... Kung ikaw coach ka, matutuwa ka na yung big guy mo takbo ng takbo. And gets the bounce on that first free throw. CJ Cancino has four points in the game. Two for two. Those free throws... Five in total so far for Cancino. UP recovering from what's turning out to be momentum going for Ateneo for a little while. Nay balik na nila sa 16 yun lamang. Pinomba in tira. Nope. T of taking care of the rebound. Cancino. Oh, offensive foul. Ito tawa kay CJ. Na itulak niyang palayo eh. Offensive foul number 27, CJ Garcino. Second personal. I, just, I think th that's just his momentum. Na natulak niyang palayo. And I also think that's selling a call. Oh, oh. that's <laughs> another thing. <laughs> Three and a half remaining here in the second period. It's still UP. No looking back. Jared Brown. Corner three. Those three pointers not going down for Ateneo at most times. The long two is also a miss. Oh, Malik Diof, the point center. <laughs> oh, he gets ball back. Nice play by JD Kagulangan. Unbelievable. Grabe. Na, na save pa niya. Papunta kay Malik Diof to get the easy two. Could have been a disaster, but oh. what turned out was well, a great play for UP. And Ateneo cannot Ateneo afford with those man. turnovers. Look at this. You thought it was going nowhere. And oh, still finding, holding it in for Malik Diof to put it up with an easy basket. Marami silang plays na ano, napaganda pa. 18 point lead for UP. Two minutes and 44 remaining. Terence Fortea. 
Trying to get closer to the basket. Oh, nice pass inside. Oh, <laughs> no look pass right there for Terence Portea. Wow. They know each other pretty well. Oh, the chemistry you... working out for UP. And they're also doing their thing on defense. Just when we thought Ateneo was getting a break. Flash experts pass of the game from Terence Fotea. No look. Well, my teammate is right underneath. Might as well give it to him. And he converts. Luxury of having Terence Fotea on your team. Alam niya kung nasa niyo mga kampi niya na nasa court. JD. The three is a miss. Largest lead in the ball game right now at 20. Approaching the final two minutes of the second quarter. Brown from three. Nope, they got another chance here to score. They try another three. Finally. Jason Corrado with Their his first eight in points. A while. He's got two rebounds and one assist also for Jason Corrado. Bawiba, Terrence Fortea, why not? If you can do it, I can do it too, says Terrence Fortea. Willing to go on on a shootout. Lavens Ateneo. 45-25. Fred with a bad pass. Almost. They lost it. Oh, how about that off balance shot? Wow. And Gio Chu. Knowing just to put it up. Bina malaki yung backboard gamitin ko nga. Nausug pa niya yung tira niya sa ere. Talagang sumabit. Bonus free throw coming up for this big fella. They need every scoring opportunity. They need to make those free throws. Sit. UP is feasting on that lead. Enjoying. 45-28 lead here for UP. Malik Diop almost getting away from Gio Chiu that time. Malik Diop are very active on both yeah. ends talaga. 12 Offensive points. foul ang naitawag sa kanya. Oh. Yung hawi niya kasi na pag-ikot niya. Doon siya natawagan. But only his first. He was being a little too aggressive that time. A minute remaining here in the first half. UP basically... In control of this ball game. Look at Malik Dio. Uh, the airtight defense. <laughs> and Chiu Chu not giving him enough breathing space, but Chiu Chu finding himself open, short with a three. And now UP once again. JD Kagulangan turns off balance shot. Malik Dio getting it back, keeping it in play for UP. Dio is fouled. That is Sean Ketevis. Sean Ketevis, you can see it, his facial expression, wanting to uh, really fire up Atineo here. They're down big, down by as much as 20 a little while ago. And with only 28.6 seconds remaining here in the first half, UP 14 at their shot clock here. JD Kagulangan. Yes, he's back to play for UP. After an injury in their first game. How about wow. that? Time move off the window. Against the much taller Gio Chu. Walang problema. Iba yung tapang talaga nitong bata na to. That's only his first basket. But what a time to come. And it's like a highlight because of his tank time move. And then a foul on Atineo trying to get back an offensive rebound, but nope, not able to do. Kai Balungay. Kai Balungay was the one who was able to deliver the first basket for Atineo in this game. And that will be it for the first two quarters. UP very, very much in control trying to dominate this ball game against this rival of theirs. 
47-28 against the Ateneo Blue Eagles.
We're at the half after two quarters. UP fighting Maroons. Up 19. Laban rito sa Ateneo Blue Eagles just playing their first game sa ating 16th Phil Oil Echo Oil Preseason Cup. And the way they started and UP fighting Maroons, it's like they're in the driver's seat and they're just looking at their rear view mirror. Benji Santiago and Charles Peichong. At ito nga, nakita natin dito. Somehow, Mason Amos with that three-pointer. There was that good run para rito sa Ateneo. Pero parang piling-pili lang. Akala natin, eh yun na. Yun na, no? Ano, pero talagang may sagot lagi yung UP Fighting Maroons. Especially parang walang nakakasabay dito kay uh, Malik Diof. Huh? 12 points already and 5 rebounds. JD Kagulangan, yes, is playing again. Was able to recover after missing a couple of games due to an injury. And we're all set uh, to give you the second half in just a little while. Ito, wow, 48%. But it's a percentage of shooting. Sa rebounds. Oh, that's courtesy of Malik Diouf with five rebounds. And laki nung uh, seven rebound disparity and assist. Six to 15. All right. So a lot of adjustment kailangan para rito sa Ateneo. They don't have uh, their head coach, Tab Baldwin. And uh, marami na ang nag-iisip. <laughs> Natatawa na lang ako. As we take a look at our leading scores here. Something has got to happen big. Oi! Ang uh, Vice Chancellor ng uh, UP, si Boss Pato Gregorio, in the house. Dito po. Kasama And... si Andy Hemao. <laughs> <laughs> Pero wag nating bigyan ng uh, kulay. Wala, ano ba? Wala. Nanonood lang. <laughs> Nanonood lang. Mga maraming kulay dito yung mga nagko-comment sa atin dito. Oh. Meron pa nga nag-comment dito, mahilig daw ba sa chicks yung cameraman? <laughs> Hindi po yung cameraman ang mahilig sa chicks. Utos ng director yun. <laughs> so alamin nyo na lang kung sino. 47-28 here wow. sa third. So big stop here ah, to start off the third period for Ateneo. Kayo naman, oh. hindi ko pa natatapos yung sasabihin ko. Kinocompliment ko kayo. And then you turn the ball over palagi na lang ganun. Pagkakala natin, eto na, eto na. Sabay, may mangyayaring hindi maganda para sa Ateneo. Ayan. Go, 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 Ateneo. According to Elizabeth Jose. Paul Turco. Uy. <laughs> Nagahanap ng one-on-one. Ayan mo, pagbalik mo rito. Mga kapanood ko din. Ayan. Hello to uh, Kiel Peralta, Ana Zamora, Carl Denmark, uh, Vanguardia, Kim Min Min. And uh, John Arogo. Marami pa to eh. Uh, we're well, all going to give you some chances na ma- makapag-shoutout kami sa inyo, ha? Huh? Ayan, Mark David Tomaneng. Nagtatanong ko nasan si Coach Tab Baldwin. Well, the most important thing here is that his players are also missing some of their uh, familiar moves that we have seen, especially when they la- played in the previous UAAP na sila nga nag-champion. Now, Malik Dio. Knowing what to do in a basket. Masyadong mahaba yung mga galaw nitong si Malik Diouf. Sabi ko nga, walang makasabay sa kanya eh. Oo. Walang panapat ang Ateneo against Malik Diouf. 14 points na agad. In the meantime, Ateneo. A three-point shot. That could have been big. Ooh. Kulang pa yata yung size ng court natin. <laughs> Tia once again with a basketball. Tene with a foul here. This game is just... It's been physical all game long. Joseph Obasa is called for the foul and uh, Gio Chu comes back into the game. I don't think I like that matchup of Gio Chu and Malik Diouf. Let's see. 16 seconds on the shot. Ayan, ang pinasok ngayon Chu. Well, he's got his hands full. Big assignment for Gio Chu to contain. Ito si Malik Diouf. That's the right word, contain. Because you can never stop a Malik Diouf. You can only contain him. Shot clock down to four for UP. Ooh, a sabit move by... Uh, Harold Alarcon and referee did not blow their whistle, so Tulilang Action, it's Ateneo basketball right now. 
Bogle. The ball knocked out of his hands. Accuracy of shooting turned out to be a big problem for Ateneo in the first half when they managed to. Uh, this is really a very low 26%, 26% against a 47% Ateneo field goal percentage. So Andrew Ball was able to score for Ateneo. Look at this, made a boo boo earlier. He makes up for it, shoots a three, an open look. They got a knock down. A lot of those three point shots being given to them by UP. Off balance and nothing there for UP. Here's another open look for a three. Can't hit it back to back. Look at this, John John Felicilda looking left and right behind him. Raylan Torres in and out. There's a foul again. And it's on Ateneo. I do believe that's uh, Gio Chu. Shanti no wagon foul. The other problem is that he's going to be a good one. This is Malik Tiof. It's got to be a way to somehow get a better position trying to guard Malik Tiof. And here he is with the basketball. Puts up a short jumper. Eh? That's too easy for Malik Diouf. 16 points. Masyado siyang mabilis para kay Gio Chu. Portsky, stop and pop move. Nope. Offensive rebound. Gio Chu blocked by Malik Diouf. And ball in the hands right now. The UP fighting Maroon. So quick hands also for Portsky Pandrigal. But second serving. And John John Felicilda coming out of nowhere. The smallest guy on the floor gets the offensive rebound and the basket. Making a good play right there. 53-31. It has ballooned right now to 22. This is the largest in the ball game. The lead for UP. Shot clock down to four. Fortsky does he know it? Look at wow. John John Felicilda. Very active hands on that deflection there. It's like UP is always one or two steps ahead on offense and even on defense here. They could not even, they made a stop, but you have to continue making those stops. Gab Gomez has been in and out of this ball game. Now he replaces Fortski Padrigal, who's also having a top time on offense. Oh, two points pa lang. That's unusual of Fort Skipod Padrigao to and score only two points. Third uh, quarter now. Air ball for Josh Lazaro. Sabatala Terrence Fortea hitting his third three pointer in this ball game. UP continues to punish Ateneo. This is now a big 25 point lead for UP. Nice move. Ketevis. Ketevis banks it in. Ketevis to consider that's only his first basket in this game. He started this ball game for the Blue Eagles. Almost a steal right there for Ketevis. John John Felicilda. <laughs> oh my goodness. Torkulas getting himself in the scoreboard, and that's a big basket. That's a three pointer for UP. Gio Chio having a tough time underneath. It's going to be the birthday boy, Seven Gagate, who will be called for that foul. Look at Torkulas. Late okay. challenge right there for Gio Chio. Aldous Torkulas made them pay. Well, when it comes to three-point shooting, all eight made by UP. They're shooting eight of 18. It's a 44% percentage and uh, only four of 25 for Ateneo. Masyadong malaki yung difference No percentage nila. Gio Chu will be shooting. He's at the line. Halfway here in the third and once again, 
this is only the first game here in this preseason cup by Ateneo. You can also see Bench Nap. UP is out rebounding Ateneo by 12. Grabe. The resiliency of this UP team. Hindi naman masyadong malaki yung height advantage nila eh, pero sobrang match pa nga eh. Oo nga, pero lamang pa rin ng UP sa rebounding section. Wow! <laughs> CJ Cancino did not waste any time on that shot. Pinakita lang yung girlfriend. Oh, Oops, actually, may magalit ha. <laughs> nakalaban, nakalaban namin yan si CJ Cancino uh -huh. back when I was in high school. And that guy gave us really a hard time on every possession. I thought you were going to say that's CJ Cancino's girlfriend. Still Aliana back Dolina. In high school. Hindi mo lang alam. <laughs> <laughs> Francis Lopez is on his way to the basket and gets fouled. I can foul number 21. It's a 13 foul on Atideo. Francis Lopez, alam naman natin na pag nakuha niya yung bola, he loves to attack the basket. His only basket was a dunk. Yun lang. <laughs> so far. Pero nasa highlights yun. <laughs> yun nga yun eh. For sure. He makes the first free throw of his two, awarded him. But Pero ito namang si uh, Francis Lopez. Hindi naman siya uh, a player na scorer mentality. Maaasahan mo sa defense, yeah. yung mga hustle, yung mga intangibles na hinahanap mo sa isang player. He's also got four rebounds and two assists across the same. So I think staff sheets. And nice. Mason Amos Mason getting his second three-pointer in this game. A player his, who is compared to an RDO, Rani Del De Ocampo. Ang tawag ka ng iba. Ano ngayon eh? Nicola Amos. <laughs> Nicola Amos. Tama. Basa gets it back. Para sa Ateneo. The three-pointer. They truly need to hit those outside shots. The percentage of it going down right now. That Good is swipe four right of there. 26. Establishing this 25-point lead for uh, UP. Short jumper, does it go? CJ Cancino. Obasa challenged, oh. scores off the glass. Joseph Obasa finding that contact to get the basket and the foul. Opportunity to give a three point play for Ateneo. Kailangan nila mga impact points. Eh. Oh, up. Uh, to wake up everybody. Great challenge, you know, by Francis Lopez. Great defense, but just better offense for Joseph Obasa. But Obasa cannot complete a three-point play for Ateneo. Sayang yun. Kailangan nila yun. 64-41. Oh, offensive foul here. Sean Ketev has sold that foul. Offensive foul on number 17. With matching slide, oh. Dayo, huh? <laughs> actually, an inspiring story for Sean Ketevis. He was cut from the team, uh -huh. team Bisha, and climbed all the way to becoming a champion in the UAP. Obasa lost control on his way up. Here comes UP in transition. The three and CJ Cancino. Wow, his second three pointer in this quarter. Pointing to his teammate, J.D. Kagulangan, who gave him a great pass and an open look for a three. What I love about this UP squad is, kahit open na sila, hahanapin pa din nila yung mas open. 11 points for C.J. Cancino. Coach Goldwyn Monteverde. Happy and pleased with the way oh. things are turning out for his UP squad here. And how about wow. this kind of a play here? Man! <laughs> a, a dribbling clinic right here for UP. Obasa and one. Oh, Obasa. 
he was outnumbered right there. He had two black shirts right in front of him. Well, a couple of plays is being aggressive right now, Joseph Obasa. But this was the great two-man play for UP. And there's the contact and a basket. Obasa seven, Gagate could not do anything to Obasa. Earlier, he missed the bonus. Let's see how he fares this time around. Still can't oh. complete a three-point play. Sayang yung mga three-point play opportunities nila. Hindi nila nakoconvert. And the free throw woes para rito sa Ateneo. The four of eight. Not exactly a lot of free throws being awarded these two teams in this ball game. Can't make it. Nice intention. Obasa once again. It's been tough to get through the defense. Mason Amos almost hitting another three-pointer in and out that time. Oh, oh a little bit of a spa for Tennis Fontaine. And a good line right there. Mason Amos, a drive and a miss. Francis Lopez. And let's just wait for the others. JD Kagulang, another set off for CJ. Oh! Oh! Gets the shooter's bounds. His third in this quarter. He is scorching hot. Well, for somebody who's got his teammate celebrating a birthday, that's a gift. For seven gagati from CJ oh, Cancino. Ito na pare. Ito na regalo ko sa'yo. That ball bounced out and it decides to go back in. Look at this. Look at this. How tough can this basket be? But when you have it, as they say, you have it. Credits to Terrence Forte. Yeah. Hinahanap talaga niya. Oh, I... And a big defensive job here. Para sa UP again. CJ feeling it. He check. He check. Sa so, yeah. Trying to save it, but it's Ateneo basketball right now. And this is going to be an easy one. Tuano. So Tuano. Oh, it, it's going to be a, an offensive foul against JD Kagulangan. Ooh. Ayun. Inipit pa. Kaya nga eh. How do you like that? Chico Briones did not see action back in the first half. Only fielded in this time. Meron kasi silang luxury to experiment kasi with their big lead. They can try different things. How about that? Jared Brown, that's a three-pointer. Kanina pa niya hinahanap. Second sticking away before we end the third. Still a big lead for UP. It's going to end up UP's way 72 to 48 of the Atenean Blue Eagles. And they are having a field day, just feeding the basketball to Malik Diouf. Mason Amos has got to hit more of those three pointers. We've seen him play in Gilas. But CJ Cancino finding the target, finding his range, and getting more and more comfortable. Shooting from the outside. Bang! It goes. And we're expecting a whole lot more to happen in this ball game. UP Natineo, 72 48. UP still with the lead.
how to overcome a big deficit like this with only 10 minutes to play in this ball game. Well, Ateneo has to do something and they have to do it right now if they still want to be back in this ball game. Those are risky passes. A little disorganized with the way they execute their play. Oh, oh, yeah. Pero yun, naman yun. Gab Gomez. Well, Chip Cortez says hello to Pablo Jab. I don't know if I'm saying that name right. Uh, Saint Santos. Para daw hindi may scout, kaya ganyan lang daw maglaro ang Ateneo. <laughs> Totoo nga ba yan, Charles? <laughs> Parang hindi. <laughs> Parang hindi ba? <laughs> Anyway, just keep them coming. You need your shout outs and greetings, huh? We're glad to see them. Wow, point blank miss right there. Oh, wow! Joseph Obasa. Nagalit na. Nagalit na. Nagurato na. Hindi na rin sa sabi ko, nagalit na. Ayaw mong sumuta ito. Let's see, that's a good start para sa Ateneo here in the fourth. Another stop there. No basket for UP. And here comes Satineo. Great finish and wow. one. Kai Balungay waking up here in the fourth quarter. Hasn't seen a lot of minutes inside the court. Pambun ambun na yung mga puntos niya. Pero this will make an impact for Atineo. Kai Balungay. And he's still waiting for a chance to shoot the bonus free throw here. He's got four points in the game. A quiet game for Kai Balu. Yes. Jerry Abadiano. Kita natin yung banggaan doon ni Luis Pablo, pati ni Obasa. Oh, Luis. Luis Pablo. And Luis Pablo has has some words for Obasa. He is hyped up. And then doing his thing on defense. May contact, pero wala kang end one. Mm -hmm. That's the best you can do, right? Oh, There's a lot of this adrenaline still going on here for UP. Look at that. Kai Balungay. It's up to Luis Pablo. No, no, no. Di talaga niya pinatira. Kaya mo nang may foul. Kompletohin mo yung free throws mo. Bibigay ko na sa'yo yung free throw. Huwag na lang yung basket. So once again, we're here at the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center in San Juan. And truly, this ball game has attracted a lot of people to watch it live here in our venue. You might as well do the same thing. For tomorrow, there's still going to be a quadruple header coming your way as we continue with this preseason cup. Tomorrow po, ah, dikit dikit ang ating mga schedule so far. An open look. Harold Alarcon just uh, short. Here's Jared Brown with the basketball. Kailangan may gawin na ang Ateneo. Kung gusto pa nilang manalo dito sa laro na to. Medyo... Fortsky. Yon! Yon! Ayun na. Speaking of may kailangan gawin. He's been trying about three or four times in this ball game. Finally knocking down from the corner. And don't look now, UP. Hindi pwede magpahinga basta-basta. The lead has been cut down to 13 right now. 74-61. Ayan na. The realization of Harold Alarcon. Hindi talaga sila nagiging complacent. Hindi sila nakakampante sa lamang nila. Sabi nga, yung iba, gusto protektahan lang yung lamang. Yung iba, Gustong manalo. May oh, pagkakaiba yun eh. Oh, oh. <laughs> 15 point lead. 
Kai Balunga, give it... Oh, sayang na pagkakataon naman yun. They found the contact downstairs. Kai Balunga, kind of showing up Ooh. late here in this ball game, don't you think? Could have been a different story kung uh, ganyan sila maglaro kanina. They almost forgot about Mark Belmonte. Well, he just checked into this ball game already here in the fourth. For Coach Goldwyn in the UP Fighting Maroons. There's another foul. UP picking up on those fouls. That's number four already. I would know Malik Diof right there. Obasa is having a field day underneath. And that's why a lot of pushing and shoving being uh, given by those who are trying to defend against him. Even without Malik Diouf, this UP team is still up. So that's a nightmare for the teams in UAAP. Well, let's see here. Harold Alarcon has been called for a foul there in penalty in UP. All scoring opportunities, sabi nga natin. Right now, especially if you're playing catch up, there's still a manageable uh, lead. The pending overcome pa ng Ateneo. With six minutes and 28, that's a lot of basketball time. But they have to do it right now. Portsky shooting both, making him both and trying to keep him closer here. Just down by 13. In the meantime, that's a baseline jumper. Wow. Wow. Smooth jumper for ha by Harold Alar Alarcon. He is known for making those kind of shots. Harold Alarcon has got a total of 11 points in this game. Here, Mark Belmonte, Tinawagan. Behind. Ito si Obasa. Penalty. So Coach Goldwyn most probably realizing sa susunod na lang tayo ulit mag-experiment. Oh. <laughs> Let's bring back Malik Diouf. Five minutes and 53. Still a lot of time. This is already fourth quarter. Yun lang. Nakakatatlong sablay na siya sa free throw na yun. And once, you know, you know, it'll bite them in the end. If he continues to miss those kind of free throws. Uh, splits his charities. 10 to 14 from the line. Ang Ateneo. Only eight free throws were awarded at uh, UP in this game. It's Harold Alarcon once again trying to extricate from his defender. Goes for the mid range jumper. He makes it! 13 points for Harold Alarcon. Yun yung tinatawag na pamatay sunog. Oh, hindi talaga yan nahihiya. Never yan magsha-shy out sa mga ganyang plays. Iba yung hindi nahihiya at saka sa walang hiya. Ha? Ay, oo. Oh. <laughs> Ayan, oh, oh. Again, shout out ah, sa aking kumpare, Raymond Liboro. At yung uh, kanya privacy and security by design. How are you doing, my friend? Long time no see. Dating uh, head ng National Privacy Commission. Now living a private life. Ganun na ba? <laughs> ah, Raymond, see you soon. In the meantime, baseline jumper doesn't go here. I had a graduate in the UPN, I see uh, Monty Bora. Portsky with a three! No! Oh, <laughs> Kai Balungai point blank missing the shot. Francis Malik Diop coming oh all the beat in the dunk. He had bad intentions on that play. That's going to be a foul here. No, there's no foul here. It's just going to be basketball possession pa rin para rito. Uh, last touch nga. Ang Ateneo that time. 
Ball touched last by Ketevis. Baseline inbound, long inbound going to Francis Lopez. You know, it's like there's actually two LeBrons who are playing for both teams. Oh. LeBron Nieto, LeBron Lopez. <laughs> Aron Alarcon. Is that wow. the dagger? Although he was warned for faking a foul, but Harold Alarcon is turning up the heat here for UP in the fourth. He's got 16 points in the game. Actually, parehas yung uh, shot attempts nitong dalawang team. 68 and 68. Yun nga lang, mas marami talagang nasyoshoot yung UP. 23 to 31. Nagahanap pa ng four-point play, kaya natawagin ng faking a foul. Oh. Warning, a warning pa lamang. Obasa, important free throws here. We've seen a lot of warnings, no? Ng, uh, faking oh, of fouls. Yes. Mas kinama sa NBA, na uuso oh, oh. na rin. ko pa lang sana, yung playoffs diba? natin. Ang daming gustong mag-artista. <laughs> Two for two that time for Obasa, but is there still enough time for Obasa and the rest of uh, Ateneo to catch up here? Francis Lopez attacking, scores! Using his left hand. Look, this is an aggressive move to the basket. Alam naman natin yan. Kilala natin yan si Francis Lopez. Oh, Talagang gusto niyan lagi yung he will drive strong to the basket. And he made that basket but for Obasa he dodged the bullet. Buti nga hindi siya dinakdakan niya. Oo. <laughs> And he completes a three-point play. So another 20-point lead here for UP. With four minutes remaining in the game, and Ateneo finding themselves struggling here. Malik Diof. Gusto mag point center, eh, nagbababa ng ball. Oh, kanina pa niya yung ginagawa, <laughs> di ba? I don't know his intentions here, but I guess he just wants to be an all-around player. And with a lead like that, meron ka namang uh, uh, space para gumawa ng ganun. Meron kang time kasi merong may lead ka na malaki so you can try different things so Ateneo turning the ball over with a backcourt violation ball goes back to UP Francis Lopez thinking about it attacking once again try to be creative oh, oh wow ayun na naman yung kanyang acrobatic uh, na pagtatayo parang dismount and everything wow sa sa wrestling ko lang yun napapanood eh Man, oh man, the athleticism of Francis Lopez. All part of the show that UP is showing everybody here. We're all entertained. We got a timeout on the floor. UP by 20. Three and a half remaining in this game. Francis Lopez felt the contact goes down and that's the way he was able to get up again Grabe, what yun. an acrobatic way <laughs> of getting up Not the, 
All right. Standing up, not the usual way. So when you know how to fall down, you just have to get up in style. And sinking both free throws. Usually what Ooh. we're saying uh, here in Charleston, oh, if you lose a ball game, you learn some things. Oh, you're not entirely losing. Uh, and for Ateneo, this is like, oh, oh a miss. Oh. Sorry, he missed by Malik Diouf. blank. He doesn't usually miss those kind of shots. Ateneo, this is just their first game. It's what we have told you guys who are watching. Baptism of Fire against a familiar team. And it seems to be UP winning this ball game. Well, with two and a half remaining here. It went as close as 13 points. Oh, 13 points. Kaso lagi talagang may sagot yung UP sa... And then Harold Alarcon happened. Oh, yeah. CJ Cancino and Harold yes. Alarcon happened. With CJ Cancino hitting three three-pointers in the third quarter. Time off. Ateneo will be 88-66, a 22-point lead. Ateneo will call a timeout. UP still in front. All right, welcome back. And uh, more hellos and shout outs. Ilan sa ati mga nanuno dito. Noemi Fataliar, go UP. Katrina uh, Notate, happy birthday kay Pamela Mayo. All right. Rio Justine of Ofilada Perez, hello to you. And thank you very much for watching. Still over 3,000 who are actually uh, following us sa ating, uh, live stream. It's Francis Lopez. Francis oh. Lopez. I think he's going to be able to get him. Well, he wants to know him for doing the unexpected. Wow. Oh. <laughs> We're down to the final two minutes of this ball game. Ateneo. Will actually learn a lot of things here and most probably will try to uh, shake off the rust in their next games. So Malik Diouf and UP after two setbacks Finally. is back, yeah, oh, getting a win. Mason, Mason Amos. Amos with a three-pointer, but a case of too late, the hero here for Adamson. Well, I've seen uh, Mason Amos knocking down three-pointers even in international competition. Oh, oh Gila stand out. <laughs> he actually has uh, no, three three-pointers three now. Wow! Oh, wow. <laughs> Torculus! Aldous Torculus! Welcome to your Kodak moment, <laughs> Aldous Torculus. Grabe! Pang hoop junkie yun. Makikita natin mamaya sa stories. Malamang, sa malamang. Well, sabi siguro ni Aldous, ayaw kasi ni Francis dumang. Ako na lang! And that's what he did. 45 seconds remaining in the game. UP never looked back. 
Again, Ateneo and this one. But for Ateneo, it's only the beginning of what lies ahead for the several encounters that they have to go through here. They definitely felt the absence of Angelo Kwame and, you know, Rafi Verano. Yeah. And maybe even their head coach. <laughs> oh, wala si Coach Tab ngayon. Uh, look at this, oh. Aldous Torkulas flushing it down and then nagpapalitan ng tres pa may dak dak, may tres what more could you ask for para sa UP Fighting Maroons 5.4 seconds remaining grabe pa rin ang gigil yata <laughs> oh, oh. Parang kahit 5 seconds na lang yung pride nila hindi pa rin talaga mababa <laughs> I know There's no time to relax. Sabiya para rito sa atin eh. They just want to uh, get themselves going. Alam na nila natalo sila. And these are some of the things that most probably they will have to really double check on. Shooting free throws. They missed a lot. Twelve out of seventeen against a ten out of eleven ng uh, UP Fighting Maroons. It's all done and over with. UP getting back a win after two setbacks. And Ateneo, just their first game. But this was a big win for UP. Obviously, from the score itself, it says just like that. 95 UP Fighting Maroons, 70 Ateneo Blue Eagles. The kind of action that we can bring you here on the 16th Phil Oil Echo Oil Preseason Cup. So many outstanding performances. But Terence Fortea has got to be brilliant in this ball game. He's being given the recognition of uh, being selected as the best player in this ball game. Terence Fortea, very stable guard para dito sa UP Fighting Maroons with 12 points, 5 rebounds, and 4 assists. And basically, not only that, it has turned out to be a team effort oh. for the UP Fighting Maroons. Terence Fortea, well, just uh, the beginning of some of the things that he will have to show us yet. Malik Diouf. It's a wonderful way to say, hey, Atineo, long time no see. Oh. <laughs> Namis niyo ba ako, Atineo? Alang ganan eh. And UP actually so outstanding in this ball game. They came in, prepared Ateneo. This is just the first game. Most probably, what a cold start for them. They try to fight back. And somehow UP having their way here. The return of JD Kagulangan after injuries, missing a couple of games. And of course, Terence Fortea, Harold Alarcon, Malik Diouf. Obasa will still have to learn a whole lot more. And one thing is for sure, he'll see this again and he'll try to improve the next time around. Just the first game for Ateneo, folks. At uh, ito nga ang ating uh, ball game rito. So Ateneo right there at the bottom, 0 and 1. Ang uh, UP naman up 4 2. It's still La Salle who won earlier, continues with their win streak at 7 at the expense of Faith, who still have yet to win a game after 5 outings. University Perpetual Altas, the man 5 and 1. It's a group A. Letran, 4 and 1. Benil, 4 and 2. Mapua, 3 and 2. Arellano will still have to get their first win after 4 outings. San Sebastian, JRU, almost equal. Dun pa rin sa bandang baba ng ating team standings. But I sure hope that a lot of those teams will make uh, something for them and make the extra effort to go up in our team standings. We still have a long way to go here uh, for one thing. So that's just about it. We'll be uh, coming back with more games tomorrow on a Thursday. Sa ngalan ng ating mga nakasama rito, Daphne Cristobal. And of course, Charles Knight's working with you. Pleasure Benji Santiago. working with you. Yes, Benji thank Santiago. you very much for watching and we'll see you at the ball games.